everyone today we will learn the third chapter the fiber to family we all love shopping we all love to wear a different types of clothes when you visit a cloth shop you find the clothes are made up of many different varieties okay so some fabric there they are made up of cotton some are made of woolen some silk and some are man made so the five fabrics they are of very great varieties and thus mainly we can say the fabrics are of cotton the woolen the silk and the synthetic fibers but apart from this do you know how this fabrics are made if we look at the fabric casually it seems to be a continuous object but when you take a closer look of it you find that the fabrics they are made up of a network of thin thread like structures which we call it as a yarns and these yarns they move the length and breadth of the fabrics so now we will try to find a loose edge in the fabric and if you try to pull it out you find you can see it here when you try to pull it out the fabrics they are made up of a thin thread like structures which we call it as an yarns okay and this yarns it is going to run length and breadth of the fabrics whole fabrics it is made up of this thin thin thread like structures if you are not able to find a loose thread then you can use the pin or needle to uh, find the yarn now we have learned that the fabric is made up of yarn so now what are this yarns made up of we'll study what is this yarn made up of so to study what is this yarn made up of first we need to find a thread take out the thread thread from a cotton fabric and place this thread on the table and then press one end of the thread with your hand and scratch the other end of the thread along the length with with the help of nail we will find that the piece of cotton yarn splits into thin threads of cotton this shows that a cotton yarn is made up of a uh, thinner threads of cotton and this thinner thread strands of cotton which make up the yarns are called as cotton fibers so now we will discuss about the fibers fibers they are the thin thread like strands from which the fabrics is made or a cloth is made the fibers are of two types one is a natural fiber other one we have is a synthetic fiber we'll study the both natural and synthetic fiber first one we'll study about the natural fibers so what are these natural fibers the fibers which are obtained from the natural source like plants and animals we call it as natural fibers example is cotton wool silk and jute the cotton and jute they are the natural fibers which are obtained from the plants whereas the wool and the silk they are the natural fibers which are obtained from the animals the wool is the most commonly obtained from sheep and silk fiber it is obtained from silk worm so this is about the natural fibers natural fibers means the fibers which are obtained from the natural source so next one we will study about the synthetic fibers so for thousands of years only natural fibers like cotton and wool and silk were available for making the fabrics but in the last 100 years or so fibers are also made from the chemical substance which are not obtained from the natural source like plants and animals so these fibers which are prepared from the chemical substance in industry are called as synthetic fibers so the fibers which are obtained from the chemical substance in the industry we call them as an synthetic fibers the synthetic fibers we also call them as an artificial fibers or manufactured fibers this is because it is prepared from the chemist uh, chemicals in the 
industry and some of the examples of this will be the nylon the polyester and the polyacrylic so now how will you distinguish between the cotton the silk the wool and the synthetic fibers if you have a set of fibers with you how will you distinguish between the which is come from the cotton which has come from the wool or which has come from the synthetic fibers so there is one test you can perform what you need to do is just take a small piece of fabric which you want to test and hold one end of the fabric with a pair of tongues okay and bring other end of the fabric over a flame of the burner if that piece of fabric burns vigorously giving the smell of burning paper then it is a cotton fabric okay if it burns giving the smell of burning paper it will be a cotton fabric then if it burns giving a smell of a uh, burning hair then it is an woolen fabrics if it burns with the smell of burning hair it is an woolen fabrics and if it burns with the smell of burning plastic then it is an synthetic fibers okay so if it burns with the bur smell of burning paper it is a cotton if it burns with the smell of burning hair it is an woolen fibers and if it burns with the smell of burning paper plastic it is an synthetic fibers so this is about how you, this is how you can distinguish between the cotton wool and the synthetic fibers by performing the burning test next we'll discuss in detail about the natural fibers it is the fibers which are obtained from the plants first one we have is an cotton cotton is most widely used natural fiber cotton fiber is also known as a cotton wool cotton fibers come from the cotton plants which are grown in the fields by the farmer if you happens to visit a cotton fiber plants cotton field then it would be a very beautiful view it looks like as if a, a snow field in the field a cotton crop is usually grown at a places which have the black soil and a warm climate in india cotton is mainly grown in the states of maharashtra parts of andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and gujarat the fruits of the cotton plants are the size of lemons after maturing the cotton balls burst open to produce the cotton seeds covered with a white soft cotton fibers a field of cotton plants which is ready for picking the cotton looks like a field covered with the snow why it is it is because all the plants have a white cotton fibers at the top cotton is picked by the picked up from the plants in the field usually by the hands the cotton fibers picked from the fields have a cotton seeds in them the process of separating the cotton fibers from the seeds we call them as an ginning ginning was traditionally done by using the comb like device okay you can see in the image it is done by using a comb like device earlier it used to do these days the ginning is also done by using an machines and cotton is mainly used for making the fabrics apart from the fabrics the cotton is also used for filling the pillows the mattresses and the wicks of the oil lamps are also made of cotton so this is about the cotton how we obtain the fibers from the cotton and where the cotton plants are grown so hope you have understood about this thank you